Grill them with them good dogs. All right, guys, it's been a long time since I made a video. I know that. I'm sure most of you don't mind that because sometimes it says it annoys y'all, but don't care. We're here to have fun. Now, I I, did, I planned on doing some stuff. We got a nice long weekend. Today's a flex Friday for me, and I got Monday off, so it's really nice. But, um, yeah, I wasn't going to do much of anything, but they had this nice massive pork butt here for seven bucks at the grocery store. Just ridiculous. And I also got this uh, pork shoulder here from a hog that I hunted last year. So we're gonna put those things together. We're gonna smoke them up, just do some pulled pork out of it. Chef Klein Bear and Chef Corkle are really happy to be back in the groove of it. So what are we gonna do? First thing we're gonna do, unwrap these bad boys, put them in the pan and smother them down with mustard. Let that sit for a little while. Let me get that ready and I'll show you. Grilling with the good dogs. All right, guys, so we got, this is the shoulder from the wild hog. That is the pork butt from the store. That is the Kleiner Bear, and that is the Chef Baby Guy. All right, and that's the logo. So we smothered them both in mustard all over. Probably gonna let it sit like this for about an hour or so. And I'm just gonna pour on some of this McCormick's Girl Mates Sweet and Smoky Rub, I mean, I just love that stuff, guys. And my McCormick's rep, she is an absolute goddess and keeps me well stocked with it. I'm always using it. Um, trying to decide what barbecue sauce I'm gonna kind of coat some of this with, but we'll decide that during the hour. So check back with you. Let that sit. Grilling with the good dogs. Okay, there's Chef Klein Bear. Chef Cork is over there on the couch. I'm sorry. We uh, we had to work out, and then we took the dudes for a woogs. Um, those two dudes and I uh, got a little sidetracked. So I just rubbed every surface with this McCormick Grill Mate Sweet and Smoky Rub. Fantastic. Love this stuff. And I was going through trying to think, man, what barbecue sauce am I going to douse this stuff in? And I saw this Stubbs Sticky and Sweet. Oh my gosh. And I wanted to so bad, but the Red Dragon recently redid all of our cabinets and I found that I had some old barbecue sauce in there and I was like you know what I better run those out I got two bottles of that I'm gonna go start the smoker I got something to say about that barbecue sauce here in a minute go with the good dogs hey guys as you can see the wind's kicking up real good now the reason I talked about that barbecue sauce is because it's a uh, hickory barbecue sauce now I'm using a competition blend 99 out of 100 times you use a competition blend it's mostly out of hickory one of my favorite viewers was texting me the other day. He said he wasn't getting enough smoky taste in his uh, cooking. Um, I told him, you want to get the, the, the most you can infuse, you're going to use mesquite. I personally don't like mesquite. I think hickory is the way to go. Gets you a lot of good smoky taste in there. So this is going to be hickory pellets with the hickory barbecue sauce. It's going to come out great, fantastic, nice hickory taste to it. Yard's kind of a mess right now because we're, we're planning where everything's going to land out here in a little bit. But yep, just get this up to temperature. We're going to throw the pork button there. Grilling with the good dogs. Coming back at you real soon. Quick side note, when she reorganized all the, all the cabinets and everything like that, I have a lot of other barbecue sauces <laughs> that I have left over. So you don't need to use a full bottle when you put this over here. I'm going to use a full bottle just because I got another whole bottle right there gonna be a really good saucy pulled pork probably have to spread some of the love to the neighbors here but yeah we're gonna let the uh grill get the temperature and we're gonna douse it with one or throw right, it in so there. we're just gonna douse this stuff on there just get on just get all over come on now all right don't be shy so i'm gonna rub this on here in a minute and then we're gonna take it out to the grill i'm gonna put all my probes in this bad boy that's the bigger one and then um, when it gets up to, we're gonna leave it alone. We're gonna leave it alone. When it gets up to about 204 Fahrenheit, it's at 96 Celsius. We're gonna take it off and I kept seeing this thing. It's like, hey, you're gonna wanna, you know, do like you do with brisket and wrap it for an hour and all that stuff. Well, all right, well, I haven't done that before on a pig pork butt. So try it out and see what happens. Let me, let me finish rubbing all this stuff on there. This is gonna get an X rating on this episode. Yeah, buddy. Go stab some of these probes in here. In there. Yeah, nope, hit a bone there. Come on now. This one gets about there. We go. I like that one. 
all over the place. Come on. Oh, another bone. There we go. That's what I want to get right there. All right. So again, store-bought pork butt, uh, wild hog shoulder. Now, the Red Dragons family is all from Texas. We are currently in Texas. I would think that most Texans like wild game. Now, usually they do not, but I was such a good cook on the last time I made some uh, pulled pork. It was out of the hunted pig that I had and they couldn't taste a the difference. They thought it was fantastic. So we're gonna leave that until it gets to that internal temperature. I know, yes. Chef Kleinbear. That pork butt sure is taking its sweet time getting up to temperature. Back of growing the good dogs. We're gonna be taking off in a minute. We get the ice chest ready. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna take both pieces of meat, wrap them in foil, wrap that foil in a towel, and throw another towel on top of it. We're gonna let that sit for an hour before we do any pull another pork. Riddle with the good dogs, Chef Kleinbear, and the logo. I know, dogs, that took some time. All right, pork's out. We're gonna wrap it, wrap it, and dunk it. All right, me and the good dogs will come back on when we're putting it in there. Looking pretty good. Grilling with them good dogs. All right, Chef Kleinbear will do the honors. Tossing it in, closing it down. Good job, dogs. I'm gonna pick out anything in here that's left over. I had a little, I tore a little chunk off and it was absolutely delicious. Good them good dogs. We'll leave that thing in there for about an hour before we start tearing into it. Hot. It was hot. Alright. Let's see if we can. Bear. Bubba. Good boy. Cork. Bubba. Good girl. That's some good stuff, my dogs. That's some good stuff. Keep chewing on that myself. Actually. Okay, guys. Chef Klein Bear and Chef Cork here. We got the uh, pork butt and pork shoulder over there. That The wild hog, I mean, it really just falls off the bone. It's ridiculous. I think this one will, too. It's, yeah, there you go. It's come out. Oh. All right, so I'm going to take the bear claws bear claws and start tearing that butt up really good dogs tearing up butts okay there we go this is delicious this is darker one that's that's the wild pig that's a big chunk i'm just gonna eat that oh man hmm <laughs> that's good hmm okay chef klein bear for your hard work a nice big old chunk Boop. good boy Chef Corkle, for your work, a nice build chunk like that. Good dogs, good dogs. All right, guys. Turned out great. Got a bunch of it. Still a little bit shredding to do. Gonna make myself a quick little bender. Have some of it with the barbecue sauce. I don't mix the barbecue sauce in with it. Um, but if I'm not gonna eat it right then. And um, I'll finish right, up with guys, it. guys, that's some quality food that'll last you a long time just ask the good dogs now i know i put most of it in the fridge but um when you go to reheat it what i find best is put what you want on a plate and then on the side a little like glass of water and reheat it in the microwave and yeah it reheats really well like that so i'm gonna finish my little bender here i got it mixed in with the hickory smoked barbecue sauce Thank you to McCormick's Grillmates, and hope you'll enjoy grilling with the good dogs.